going to the doctor today. Stand back, people. Stand back. Oh, so Siri is the Shh. BLM. It's very, very nummy. Mm. Ah! That was All very right. silly, Mom. Just the three of us. We can make it if we try. Life is a circus when you live with Katie. I'm just telling you right now. Just because I said like, that you look like you just rolled out of bed. No. Okay. <laughs> You're still cute though, you know that? You're still cute. And it's not about that. It's only so we're going to the doctor, you guys. I gotta keep my eyes on the road so you can tell. We're going to the doctor today. Because Katie has you wanna tell everybody what you have? Wait, give them three things and they can guess. <clears throat> Katie has something going on. nerve in her back or a twitching eye actually <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute if you take the first three and then you take the second <laughs> three and subtract it they're gonna figure it out <laughs> that was dumb I should never make up any survey questions I should never make up any type of test of any exam <laughs> that was stupid <laughs> Very silly, Mom. Right, Wait, what time? What time? What? It's my appointment. I love it. Right. We got a hightail it. So, um, I was waiting because Brendan has an appointment today too at the same doctor at the same time. We made we were able to make both the appointments at the same time. Um, and I was waiting for him to finish his calculus test and because he stayed home from school today and did it virtually. And it was taking him a while to finish, so I thought, well, let me take Katie and Brendan's going to drive himself. So he's going to meet us there. Okay. I was like, can we all just can we all just look at how how centered that pimple is on my it's face? Right in the middle. <laughs> and it's protruding quite far. <laughs> Don't get too close. Looks to like it can pop at any minute. Exactly. Stand back, people. Stand back. It's <laughs> also the only one on my face, which makes it worse. So everybody goes, looks right at it. Are you self-conscious when you have pimples, you guys? Are you self-conscious? I'm totally self-conscious when I have a pimple. Although I know that, like, it's the thing. Like, that happens. But it's like, the like, thing. Oh, yeah, everyone gets pimples. They do. They Everybody gets pimples. pimples. Everybody. Um, it's part of being a natural human. <laughs> anyway, so your Wait. lower back. Oh, yeah, my lower back. But it happens on and off. So, but it'll Is it happening really right now? I mean, so, yeah, so, but no, so, not right now, not because I'm sitting down right now. But, but if when I go you like go to the doctor, you'll be able to recreate the pain so you can explain it? That's what I'm wondering. Ow, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's like below the, it, like inside, it's like in the middle, it's like on my spine, you know? Yeah. It's not like the muscle, like it's not the outside, it's like in the middle. Yeah. So that's oh. the part where I'm like, you know? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, um, it hurts a little bit. Lot. I'm not sure. This is our uh, pediatrician, so I'm not sure how much they can do other than they can say, okay, you have to go get an x ray or you should go see this doctor. I don't or think I need an x ray. Well, I just don't expect that they'll be able to take care of it at the pediatrician's office. Well, if they are able to take care of it at the pediatrician's office, then we're going to have to figure out something else. Well, I think they're going to help us figure out what that something else is. I don't think it's going to be an x ray, though, hun. It uh, might not be. It might be a chiropractor. It might be a different doctor. I'm not exactly sure. We do well in Georgia. Oh, yay, Georgia! Hello, Georgia fans. Wait, Georgia peeps? Not Florida, everybody in Georgia is Yeah, but also Floridians don't really have southern accents. I think it's more like Louisiana. It might be. Or Alabama. Wouldn't it be fun to try to do the accent of all the different states? That's, that's hard. Yeah, there's like Maryland's is easy though. Just speak normally. <laughs> wow. 
No, 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 it's kind of true because I've lived in New York. Let me explain Go why ahead. why Maryland Maryland is does, straight up like, does not have an accent. Okay. If you ask Siri to say something, <laughs> oh, so Siri is the BLM. If you ask Siri to say something, and she has a regular like American, you know, it can make them like British Elder. or Indian or whatever, like male, yes. female. If you ask the male or the female Siri to say something in, in like an American accent, like she's the, they're American. They speak exactly like, and they pronounce things like Marylanders would say them. But not Baltimore. No, Baltimore. 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 That's Baltimore. No. Oh, that's or very interesting. Washington, D.C. Oh, no. <laughs> pretty, sure, pretty sure Shoney. No, she's from Baltimore, though. She said Washington? Washington. Yeah, no. Like, Wash. Because there's, there's no R in Washington. There's no R in Wash. No, or general. Wash. So, exactly. there's that. Right. Um, right. Yeah, Baltimore, different. And there's some part. I think. There's some parts of it, like, I guess the Eastern Shore kind of... A little Southern. A little Southern, maybe. Mm -hmm. But... Maybe it's just Central Maryland. Central Maryland. No accent. None. <laughs> da -la -la -la. <laughs> Life is a circus when you live with Katie, I'm just telling you right now. All right, so we made it to the doctor. We're sitting outside. We've called in to let him know we're here, what spot we're in, and they they get us. My back hurts. Oh, well, that's why we're here, sweetheart. That's why we're here. Okay. Everything's different now. This is what you have to do. So here we are. Ow. Lady. Watch if I go like, ow. Ow. Watch. I'm going to call Brendan and see if he's on his way. I mean, I know he's on his way. See how far away he is. Okay, bye. Ow. All right, out of the doctor. Would you like to share the news? I need to get an x-ray on my back. Because I feel like maybe it's just little tweaker. Maybe it's just not that deep. Okay, so... Scardina! So then it was Brennan's turn. So Brennan is still at... Yeah, it, why is Brennan the doctor? He's at the doctor. Where's work? Okay, he had three things going on. A work. His ear. He had a little pimple in his ear that he like picked in and then and got back. infected. And a mole on his back that Katie sees. He has been saying that she thinks that maybe it's skin cancer. It looks like skin cancer because it very much looks like skin cancer. Sorry. She looked it up. Okay. And he goes, the, no, not because I looked it up because I'm a doctor. For okay. sure. Second of all, he's been, he's always in the sun and his back always sees burn. So yeah. I was like, that's very good. So this is what he said. Okay, so the first thing, the ear, he's going to give us an antibiotic ointment for that. So we have to go get some like um, hydrogen peroxide and then he's, and then pick up a prescription for the, for the you know, whatever. For the back, he said it does look like it's an abnormal shape. He said he doesn't think that the, the dark spot in the middle is new, but he thinks we should go to the um, dermatologist. dermatologist. For the wart, he's had this one frozen off several times, and it's just not, it's, it's a stubborn one. It's just not going away. He's cut off his finger. So you know what he said? He said, okay, so we've tried the freezing off, and that's not working. He said there's this over-the-counter, um, and uh, what do you call it? Uh, what, what do you call it? Uh, it's a medicine that you take when your stomach doesn't feel good. It, 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 no, like a like a pepto is a what's that called? Is it not an yeah, antiseptic? Like it's called it's called a and a, and, anyway, whatever it's called. Anyway, you guys know what you're probably saying. You're screaming at me right now. Anyway, whatever that is, there's this brand that you can take that has, actually has like a chemical reaction to warts, but you have to take it for six to eight weeks. So he's like, that's kind of a pain. He goes, but what really works? like with amazing success is wrapping it in duct tape i was like he goes yeah it sounds like voodoo it's really true it's really true I'm like what so we're going to so he's going to freeze it off now and then we're going to cool go, duct, duct tape patterns yeah, well he said you can at, at home depot they sell like um skin color duct tape <laughs> but yeah we'll get whatever everybody wants so we've got to go to the home depot to get duct tape we've got to go to the pharmacy to get his antiseptic we've got to go to the x-ray machine to get you x-rayed and we have to go to the dermatologist to get this thing looked at. So it was, I would say, a pretty fruitful doctor visit. Yeah, that's a lot of Between stuff. The two. It's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. So we'll be very busy today doing all these things. So we have to take you back home so you can have your quarterly math exam. Then we have to take you to the x-rayist. Then we have to go to the um, pharmaceutical, or the, the pharmacy. Then the Home Depot. And then make a... Um, Dermatology appointment. Two hands a little bit. Hi, Squab. I'm so, glad you get yourself one of these. 
Yeah, if you guys know about the Amish market. The Amish market isn't a thing everywhere. It's not? Mm-mm. Well, well they should I'm travel saying, down here. yeah, you can, like, go to Pennsylvania or close to Pennsylvania. These probably there. are pretzel logs. So it's pretty much a soft pretzel, which is, like, buttery, like, perfectly buttery. And then there's, like, egg and cheese and bacon in there. It's called a breakfast log. Oh, my God. So fire. But I've got a home fry log, which is pretty much the same thing, except with, like, potatoes. Mm-hmm. And sausage. It's very, very nummy. Mm. Rate your... Rate your log. 11 out of 10. My, this is a gap. This is a really good one. I have to say 11 out of 10 as well. I'll go with the 10 out of 10 because 11 out of 10 is physically impossible. If you're ready to go, if you're ready to go, let's go 11 out of 10. We got one for Ryan, too. Oh. I might have to split it with Caden and act like we didn't get him one. That won't be fair enough. Alright, gang. <laughs> 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 Alright, gang. Are you playing hangman? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the first topic was toppings, and that was spicy chipotle sauce. Oh, num. Then there was extinct animals, and it was saber toothed tiger. Oh, good. And then there was describing an animal, and it was Nico has a strong neck. That's why it's all Okay. 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 And then house phrase, which was I need to wash my laundry. Nice. And then a regular phrase, I use wax paper for my pop secret popcorn. Oh, my gosh. So who got that? Did somebody get that? I got that. Yeah. Holy crap. Then Ryan did this one and then It was dad phrase. It was dad phrase. And, and you I, already knew it. I immediately said, Why can't you be more like Ryan? Oh my gosh, that's um, insane. And then Ryan did one and it was soggy doorknobs and I don't know why. It was the first thing that popped into my head, don't quite. <laughs> that's the first thing. Soggy <laughs> did somebody get it? No. Well, yeah, you got you soggy doorknobs? <laughs> I, I mean for real? I had to give them uh Eyes and a knob. Like, to be it. fair, B is the second letter I guessed, and it was in <laughs> knobs, and he didn't put it down. Oh. Who's up? Me. Right. Give me a topic, Mom. Topic. All right, I've got a topic for you. It is summertime. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Do, 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 Look, do, 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 Oh. <clears throat> All right, okay. It's a little. It's a little. Six fifty. Ah. Uh, give me an M. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have the other passage right. No M. Spike ball on. Oh my gosh. What's up, Katie? Dun 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 dun. You win. I kept you a robot. A robot. A robot. And here's a, a year's supply of spike ball. Oh, I would love a year's supply. 
Katie, who would you play spike ball with? Oh, no, or what? Lil Uzi Vert. Lil who? Uzi Vert. Lil, Lil Uzi, Uzi Vert. Vert. Ew, Ryan, all right, you guys, we're going to end this tonight, and you guys can keep on talking about all your people that I don't even know who they are. Okay, you guys, we're going to call it a night. <laughs> Kaden, what made you happy today? Um, Katie oh, doing a great job driving. Oh, getting did. here safely. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it was touch and go there for a while. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I'm just kidding. I'm just, that's just for a joke, Katie. What made you happy today, baby girl? No, you did great. Yeah, you seriously did. What made you happy today? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Had a good day. Okay, good. Watching Big Time Rush with Katie. Oh, uh, Big Time Rush? Yeah. That's nice. Ryan, what made you happy today? Uh, the Masters. Oh! Stop! Oh, oh, oh. Stop! Dude, it looks like you have goldfish dust right here. <laughs> goldfish um. dust, that's a better. All right, I'm gonna end this now. What made me happy today definitely was getting here nice and safely. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below, what made you guys happy today. We hope you had a wonderful yeah. day. We'll see you tomorrow, bye. Are you serious? Yeah. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.